Our conquest of the El Cluster continues, as well as the espionage that we are conducting on some pre-FTL worlds. Our empire and our federation is vast, and we are very powerful. And it looks like our resolution is going to pass to get ensured sovereignty, which will help with our loyalty. Everybody's very loyal. The Lesbotian entity is slowly becoming more loyal to, loyal to us. But welcome back, everybody, to... Solaris in the machine age we are going to go and attack this uh, spaceborne organic here And there's our tradition pop we were waiting for that we could select a new tradition if we wanted to But I think we're gonna try to finish this one up first uh, Damage versus star bases plus 20% I think we'll do fleet command limit. There we go fleet command limit beautiful Attacking enemy vessels. Uh, excuse me. I wanted to station under attack. Research that project there. Pirates have been sighted. Where are they? Oh, they're in that system there. Oh, look at that. We, they're literally one jump away. Just gonna have them travel to there. They must be dealt with. We have a leader who leveled up. Our official here, governing on Cowig, has leveled up. Um, I could give him architectural interests or trade focus. I think I'll make the district's cost less. Or I could give him principle two, which would give us stability, but he's he's not he's not a leader leader. Let's give him architectural interest. We have a time project here. Okay, that's the uh That's the debris in Braham. Where's that at? Oh, that's there, okay. They're already taking care of that. They're taking care of that, and then they're gonna come out here and survey that system when they're done. And we are now fighting another another very large fleet of nasty boys. Research the projects there and then survey that system. Zero G mineral production violently diminished. Pirate station raided. Excellent. Uh, where did that happen? That was down here. We are going to need to bring one of these guys back. Caravaners old with defects. Special Likely project. due to vessel being civilian transport. The shipboard databases were not fully scrubbed. So we got some rare crystal manufacturing research option. Okay. We have a satisfying insult available. Um, I say that we just piss off the chosen a little bit more. And we insult them. There we go. Because they just seem to be a good insult, insult to us. Um... Oh, that's here in the bat in that system. Okay, so that guy's gonna he's he's investigating those and doing that. Uh, the rest of our fleets are all going over here, and we are we are basically we're gonna rush this home. We're gonna rush this system, even though there's that many fleets in it. Even though there's that many fleets in it, we're gonna do it anyway. I work to influence the pre-FTL inhabitants of Witson One has reached its zenith, where they're now ready to commence operations. Commence it. Uh, we have made them more authoritarian as well. Uh, let's go ahead and try to plant some, uh, let's try to plant some knowledge here. Plant a little knowledge on them. Attacking enemy vessels. Zerian societal shift or efforts. To shift the societal values of the Zarian civilization in direction favored by us have produced favorable results. We have made great strides in uh, in ridding the Zarians of superstitions. Um, they are beginning to see the value of science and rationality. Excellent. I 
I think there was a race over here that we were not. Yeah. Plant some advanced knowledge on him. Astral actions available. We will definitely take that for sure. A shiz. We got two gray tempests that we're fighting up here. It's like one at a time, though. Nope, now it's going two at a time. I do hate how the AI like concentrates on different different en enemies. Remarkable. Technology continues to progress on Whitson 1, and in, as industrialization takes their society to new heights, their most recent breakthroughs in engineering have revolutionized their use of transportation and brought them a step closer to planetary unification. Defying our prediction models, Whitson 1 is now a unified world. Pooling their resources, the people have polarized the well-being of the global community, and living standards are rising. Remarkable. This is highly uncommon. I say we push forward. Nope, cancel that order. Stop. Let's reinforce what we can. And then we are going to specifically target that space station right there. With everything we have. This is the final battle, boys and girls. This may destroy our fleet. It may save the universe from the Great Tempest. I want everybody to gather right there. And I want everybody to target that space right there. Attacking enemy vessels. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm not interested to move along. Star system charted. Technology secured. Come on, attack the main cluster. Attack that main cluster right there. That's what you need. There you go. There you go. Okay, there we go. It's gonna this is gonna hurt. Alright. The Tempest is suspended. Our forces have succeeded in destroying the main facility of the Great Tempest. With the neutralization of the subspace transmitter, all existing Tempest mat nanomachines have been rendered inert. Unable to maintain their cohesion, their ships have dissolved into nothingness. Any plans that were covered by Tempest Grey Goo are now home to enormous swirling dust storms consisting of nothing but disabled nanites. With time and resources, they could possibly be made habitable once again. Another threat dealt with. Wow, all of our fleets have just been decimated, but that's okay. That's okay. We, we, we live to tell the tale. We now can exploit resources. Um, let's unlock the uh, habitat complexes. I think that'll be a good idea. Build a star base there. We're going to jump out here with all of our, all of our ships here. Little star base there. And I'm lacking some influence. Okay. We're getting ten influence per per month though. 
Special project completed. After rigorous research, we now understand Special why the tree sap summoned those creatures. The tree was able to produce a highly nutritious substance which has machine-like abilities to repair organic tissue. The tree is a tree of life. We harvested it and could use it to expand the lifespan of our people, but there's one problem. The tree's healing power is limited in amount. I don't need lifespan. Give it to the people. Biological pop happiness, lithoid pop happiness, plus five. Corsairs have paid us more dividends. Oh, we got 5,000 energy from them. Nice. Actually, I'm just going to have... All right, where are my construction workers at? You're moving there. You're building the star base there. You you have no orders. I'm going to move you out here. I'm going to move you there. You have no orders. I'm going to move you there. You have orders to build a star base there. I'm gonna have you research the project there and research the projects there. You are doing the debris there and then you're moving out to there. There's a Tempest Shoal there. What? How is there, how is there still a Tempest Shoal here? All right, we're going to move down to there. I didn't realize there's still a Tempest Shoal there. Interesting. And have you retreat and repair and reinforce. We lost a lot of ships in that battle there, boys and girls. All of our fleets are decimated at this point. But that's okay. Oh, there's no Tempest Shoal there. Okay, that that was that was a lie. That was a lie. Let's get everything back and repaired. Almost upgraded to a star hold. Construction complete. All right, that that was beautiful. Let's go ahead and get the mining station built there. Get the mining stations and the research stations built there. You can build a star base there now for cheaper. And then you're moving out there and you can build that star base for cheaper now too. I was wondering why it was costing me so much to build star bases. If you don't build a star base directly against territory you already own, it costs you more to jump an area and build a star base. All right. Space born life form encountered. Vlur, Vlur, what the heck? So it's saying there's a hostile Tempest Shard there still. I don't think so. Uh, extremely powerful subspace entity of some kind has been encountered in the Scorom system. It does not appear hostile and may not even be fully aware of conventional spacecraft, but its mere presence in Scorom so so is causing massive subspace disturbances. Velor. Yeah, this will interfere with the systems. Uh, does that give us a give us a thing that we need to do? Uh, no, I don't think so. Order fleet canceled. Tech 
technology secured. Why can't I go there? Okay, that is really weird. Let's just take, let's just take, uh... Yeah, we need to build, rebuild all of our fleets. Let's just take that over there. Take our big fleet over there. I don't know why that's still showing us as having something there. Resource storage is full of these, so we'll just get rid of a bunch of that. We'll get rid of a bunch of that. We'll buy a bunch of alloys and basically kill the market for right now. Uh, who is our weakest fleet right now? Probably the Direct Directorex took the most damage. All right, repairs completed on all of our ships. We did get shield capacitors available. Uh, that is a that is a accessory that will basically just up our shield hit points. Doesn't that was a freebie actually, so it doesn't even matter. Two months till jump drive comes into play, and that's going to be huge. Repairs completed. Debris have been analyzed. There, the rivalry has ended. Just looking along, seeing what we got here. Astral actions available. We could flash forge a hyper relay if we wanted to. Let's just do it. We can just flash forge a hyper relay there. That guy's just sitting there doing nothing. Construction. Complete. All right, so construction completed there. We're going to build another shipyard there when we can. Construction complete. Spaceborne life form encountered. Let's go ahead and add. Okay, I just need to buy some alloys here so I can just do this real quick. Uh, let's add a shipyard. Let's add a shipyard and and yeah, let's add two shipyards here. And then let's add a black hole observatory. Yeah, let's do that. Let's add a black hole observatory. Seems like a good place to do it. Technology secured. All right, we now have jump drives available, boys and girls. Jump drives are available to us. I don't think. Yeah, we have. We'd have to go in. We have to go in and actually re. I think we have to go into our ship designers and actually update. Or no, are those just are those just initial jump drives? Hold on. Technology research, jump drive travel, jump drive unlocked. All right. Um, you know, we have not done wormhole travel yet. We need to get that done. New astral action available. Folding hyperspace. Unlocks the astral jump fleet action, which allows your ship to instantly jump to a system within your borders. Yeah, let's do that. Now that would now that it gives us the astral jump, the phase fleet, and we should have the astral jump here at some point. But awareness is increased there. We got that astral action available there. When we get the wormholes law unlocked, the nice thing about getting the wormholes unlocked is it should give us the this one here should let us lock wormholes for like ten years or something like that, which should be very very helpful. Now, I'm kind of curious to look at our fleet manager here, our ship designer. Oh, there's jump drive. Oh, I need to save all these. I can't save that. 
Oh, I probably can't save these because they're in the midst of being built, huh? Yeah. Nope, I can't save any of these because I'm building them right now. We're going to have to come back in here and... Son of a biscuit. Yeah, we're going to have to come back in here and do it Do it later. We're, gonna, we're just going to have to not build anything for a little while. Star system chart. Terraforming Canada discovered or detailed survey of Ludena 3 has revealed it may have once supported life in a distant past. These are significant deposits of frozen water. Okay, excellent. Excellent. I like that. Fascinating. I need some more alloys. Boop. There's some alloys. Let's cancel their orders. I just need one of them to move here and build a star base. Then the other one, I need to move here. And by the time it gets there, we should be able to build a star base. Excellent. Well, we're taking the system. Uh, rising unemployment on Tor Bridge. Uh, institute some benefits. Let's look here and see what we got going on. Give them some luxury goods. I can't send artifacts here because I do not have a... I might be able to replace the Astral Nexus. I'm almost thinking of doing that or maybe replacing that... Let's replace that with an administrative office. We're going to start messing around with our stuff a little bit. Now, the thing I've not found out here is many planets. There's like no planetary bodies in this in this group. They got this broken world here. It seems like most of the worlds out here are all broken and nasty. You're still analyzing that. You have no orders. You're going to come over here and excavate this site. No, you can't yet. You're just going to move over there. You're still looking at that system. Yeah, there's not a lot of planets in this in this uh, in the L cluster. The L cluster has some energies and stuff, but there's not there's not really a lot of planets here, which is kind of interesting because before when I've had the L cluster, there's been a lot of planets and stuff available to us, complete. and there's not so much in here. Construction complete. Terraforming Canada discovered. Construction complete. Little star base there. Stellar Concord uh, fleet can be, be upgraded. Construction complete. I'm waiting till all the ships have been uh Star System charted. Alright, so that is the Yonmir station. That's out here. Okay. So let's go ahead and give them a another gun and torpedo battery. And give them a target uplink computer. Upgrade the few platforms they have. So there are some terraforming candidates in, in, in that area. Complete. Election is imminent. Uh, looks like we are, wow, the Marinian and the Bebekan Trading Consortium are ahead of us, which is crazy. The alien civilization on Yavil 4 is under attack by robotic drones. Curious. <laughs> Curious. They're they're under they're under attack by robotic drones, and all I can say is curious. That's very curious.
Let's sell a thousand of those. Um, yeah, we've been slowly building up Zro and all this stuff with our purchases. We've been slowly buying it every month, which is kind of fun because Star it doesn't really... Charted. Vessels upgraded. All right, so do I have anything being built for any of these fleets anywhere? No, I have nothing being built right now. Okay. So I should be able to go into my ship designer. It's up. Oh, they're upgrading. Okay. Okay, we got guys upgrading right now. Okay, so that's upgrading. That's upgrading. So I gotta wait till everybody's done upgrading. Relic activation is ready. We'll get the uh, sublight speed again, because that's always a good one. Oh, we do have a lot of artifacts, so we'll celebrate some diversity and get rid of some that way. Successful uprising. We are Dar, the Dar Awareness. We recognize, we do not recognize your claims. There was never any doubt. The legacy of the Virilium to uh, Vegerium veg, Trium is a legacy. Okay. They want to sell us something one time delivery that gives us the anti order for. No, I don't care about anti odor. I don't really care about that. And I think we're going to activate the. Uh, that for ship upkeep less. Less ship upkeep for a bunch of years. Our fleet up has been upgraded there. That's great. Oh, we have this down here, don't we? Um, we can now get the. We can now get these uh, crystals down here. We can build a mining station there. And is there any other crystals around that we can gather? I don't think so. I think that's the only crystal we had. Yeah, that just wasn't being gathered. I'm just going to save up my stuff. I'm not going to be... All right, so they're not doing anything. Terminus fleet is still upgrading. Rectorex is upgrading. Limit fleet. Um, I'm just going to have the limit fleet. I'm just going to cancel all these orders because they're going to all have to upgrade anyway. They're at 35%. I'm just going to cancel. So I want to get my ships with jump drives on them. All right. We're going to cancel all the orders. I don't think we have anything being built. Yeah, we are we are still there, but we are not there by much. Um, oh, borders have been open with the Click Cooperative. Okay. Interesting. So yeah, we are we are uh, we're still one of the three powerhouses, but we are not as powerful as we used to be for sure. We have an astral action available. We will definitely take that. A new member, the Dar Awaken. Okay, it's the Dar. Oh yeah, the Dar here have uh, the Dar broke away from us in the Yuval system. I'm going to try to improve relations with them. Members join the galactic community. All right. So we should be able to go into our, into our ship designer now. I don't know why this did not just upgrade to jump drives right away. Cause jump drives are freaking awesome. Let's 
design already exists. What do you mean? And um, I think, do I want to add some crystal and uh, crystal plating, some ship hall points? Where I can, I think I will. Uh, so those are our cruisers. Our battleships. I have three battleships? Suppressor, the Marshaller, and the Marshaller. Oh, that one shouldn't even be in there. That one's gone. Delete. The Assailer. And the Marshaller. So these guys here, I'm going to give them some crystal in place and the pla uh, crystal plating as well. And do I want they got okay, they have medium x-ray lasers. Those are a 90 30 80 20 135. I'm going to give them ion disruptors. Let's see. So those the ion disruptors range is 40. That's 60 on those. I'm going to give them ion disruptors there. And I think I will give them the... Do they have gigantic... Oh, they do. Devastator torpedoes. I was going to give them some torpedoes, because why not? Why not? We'll give them a little... Uh... Auxiliary fire control as well. A little shield capacitor. Oh, wait, no. Give them some uh, crystal infused. Some, some uh, Let's give them some ancient suspension field. And a neutronian armor. The suspension field, let's see, what does that do? That gives them 315 shield hit points. 550 hyper shields are better. The Ancient Suspension Field also gives them Shield Hardening. So I'm not sure... Yeah, I'll just do that. We'll just leave it at that. I almost think I want to go back here and just give these guys regular Hyper Shields now. Twenty seventy. Actually, that does kind of give them a little better shield if they have both of those. I don't want to leave my ships with no shields at all. I know that having more hull and armor is better. All right, we're just gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna leave them at that. That means all of our ships are gonna need to upgrade. Cancel that. Where's my salvage fleet? Gosh dang it. Salvage fleet is all the way up here. I want them to travel up to a slip, eh? And then I want them to patrol. Excuse me. Then I want them to patrol. Wow, that was that was bad. I'm really sorry about that, everybody. Usually I catch those before they happen, but that time it was not not letting me. Okay, and then we're going to have a patrol down to here. There we go. And then before all of that, I'm going to have them upgrade. Terminus, I'm going to have them upgrade. Directrix, have them upgrade. Limit, have them upgrade. 
and Axis have them upgrade. And then our, our weakest fleet out of all of them right now is the Axis fleet, which we probably need to get them, get them a few more ships. Same thing with the Limit fleet. All right, let's set the clock a ticking. We got, we are taking over the, uh, the territory here pretty, pretty quickly. Build star base. Upgraded. Excuse me. Vessels upgraded. Establish an assembly. As okay, we got an embassy with them. Secured. And we just secured the uh, civil civic slots. Unlocks the building, the system capital complex. Which I think allows us to upgrade every single one of these. Yes. All of all of our worlds are massive right now. So we're gonna go through and upgrade every single one of these to the highest the uh, the capital complex. Which is great because it's gonna give us housing, amenities, um, max uh, corporate buildings, planetary defense armies, enforcer jobs, politician jobs. It's gonna it's gonna supply everything to our worlds that we need right now. It's gonna make everything better. I need some hilarious that's hilarious I need I actually need to buy some of those there we go we have an unspent civic point wow this is our first civic that we can do so we have a lot of choices here to make boys and girls but we are gonna make the civic decision next time I'm gonna look them over this time give you my reasoning give you my 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 ideas on it and then next time, I believe we will, we will get the civics going. Unlocks policy, unlocks orbital building, orbital filing system. I kind of like that. Let's let's do the let's do the uh, let's do that. It looks like we're going to be getting habitat central complexes here very soon. We can start building habitats around our worlds as well, which is going to be great. We will spend that civic point at the very beginning of the next episode. Until then, boys and girls, have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this one, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, the subscribe button is down there for you as well. And I will see you next time for more Stellaris in the Machine Age.